January 7, 1982, an Arizona bank was robbed by brothers Carl Hines and Walter Bernhard Legrand. One man was killed and a woman was severely injured during the robbery. The brothers were arrested, charged, found guilty, and sentenced to death by the U.S. courts. What made this case problematic was the fact that the brothers were not American citizens. They were German nationals who had lived in the United States since their childhood. The Legrand case was brought to the International Court of Justice in 2001. Germany, the plaintiff, filed the suit against the United States, the defendant, on the basis that U.S. law enforcement did not advise German nationals of their rights under the Vienna Convention when they were arrested. Seeing that the accused brothers were citizens of another country, it was the duty of U.S. law enforcement, more specifically the Arizona authorities, to inform the accused of their international legal rights. The specific law in question was Article 36.1b of the Vienna Convention on Consular Relations, which asserts that a state trying a foreign national or nationals in a death sentence case is obligated to inform the accused of their rights to have consular authorities informed. Therefore, the question was, were the Legrand brothers denied their right to inform German legal and judicial personnel of their charges? The United States argued that their domestic law should take precedent over the Vienna Convention. They felt as if the International Court of Justice was acting as the ultimate court of appeal for domestic United States criminal matter and were therefore interfering with a domestic issue. The United States also argued that the submission was inadmissible because they waited until the night before Walter Legrand's execution and were not given adequate time to contest um, or comply with the provisional measures. The ICJ rejected all of the United States' arguments and found that the United States breached their obligations to Germany under the Vienna Convention. By, by not adhering to the Vienna Convention on Consular Notification, the United States did not only violate the individual rights of the Legrand brothers, but also failed to provide an opportunity for judicial review of the foreign nationals' convictions and sentences. The court ruled that the United States must, must give a commitment to ensure implementation of measures to comply with its obligations under that provision, and this satisfied Germany's request. The fact that the United States did not face any negative repercussions for their lack of compliance with the binding decision regarding the Vienna Convention suggests that the rule of law does not apply to the United States. They were only asked to make an effort to be more law-abiding in the future, and the lack of penalty imposed on them for this specific case shows that the actions of the United States are not punishable by international law, bringing into question the legitimacy of the International Court of Justice and international law as a whole.